What is up guys? We got a top four deck profile here uh, at the 3v3 collectibles exchange uh, where they were able to win a uh, Adrian Still playmat from Materius. And uh, yeah, and then uh, he opened his packs. He got the ultimate blue eyes, which is worth four to forty dollars. And here he got the exchange of spirit. So these packs were not weighed, and they were actually good. So we're gonna start over here at Go Format uh, with Albert uh, M, uh, who was uh, featured on my channel several times as the Goat Format innovator. Uh, he always plays like really cool decks, and I think this one's cool as well. So yeah, well, what did you play for this one? Uh, I actually played the deck that you featured on your last channel. Okay. There was a few like uh, cards that I swapped out, but uh, Chaos Recruiter. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, not many Chaos Recruiter. What was your record in the uh, Swiss and uh, Top Cut? Uh, we got second in Swiss, and then your we, personal record. Oh, my personal record. I think I was two two. No, two, I, I lost once in Swiss. I lost once in Swiss. Okay, so awesome. So an uh, X one deck out of four rounds of Swiss and team. We had fifteen teams here at the. Uh, uh, the collectibles exchange here, and he was able to perform really well. Okay, so uh, yeah, what are, let's go into the deck profile. Sure. Uh, so Chaos Recruiter, in my opinion, Chaos Recruiter is kind of just a worse version of Chaos Turbo, but it's it's a Chaos deck that I kind of like personally as like the play style. But uh, you can't have a Chaos deck without the Chaos Monsters. Right. So it plays one BLS, two Sword, and then it wouldn't be a Recruiter without a Recruiter deck. Uh, we have. Three Shining Angels, and then three Tomatoes. Sweet. So targets for the uh, recruiters is I have a, other than themselves, DD Warrior Lady, and then a Spirit Reaper. Only one other target? Uh, well, those are the other targets because the uh, recruiters will just re find themselves. Yeah. And then if I ever need to go into DD Warrior Lady, I can. I can also go into Sangin as well uh -huh. for the darks. But as far as the lights go, unless I really want to go into like a, uh, faith, faith yeah. a faith combo with Book of Moon. I typically don't, uh, but it does play two faiths. Uh, it's typically Nobleman of Crossout like preventative, with the yeah. exception of these. So depending, I'll, I'll, it really depends if I keep these in or not. Um, I'm also running uh, a one Sukiyomi. Okay. Uh, it's Sukiyomi is great versus the Warrior matchup, and it gets like go control. Uh, flip that Thousand Eyes of Strike down, and then it's free Book of Moon, right? Uh, and then you can flip flop with the Magician of Faith. And then I do play one Monarch, well, two of the one Monarch, uh, Zaborg. Nice. Zaborg's actually pretty great going into like uh, Chaos Turbo just because they have like the set cards. So you're aiming to like, honestly, best play is just uh, Sangin, Zaborg, yeah. pop the face down. That was a good play. Get yeah. a, it's get, like a, get a, get a, a, a Serpent, uh, which I run. But to pair with the Serpent, I run two Abyss Soldiers as well. Oh, wow, that's uh, a really teched out card. So Abyss Soldier, great, because you can uh, bounce the set monsters, set traps if you want it, but the tipis, things are chainable, I feel like this, unless you're going against like a like a Mirror Force or a Sakuretsu or something like uh -huh. that. Uh, but it also bounces Premature Burial, which oh. is a play that I kind of did a couple times during the tournament, where like I would like bring back a Abyss Soldier, uh, Abyss Soldier effect to get premature. So now I got Abyss Soldier, and now I can get another uh, another summon off. And then just some of the goat staples. I have a Breaker Tribe, and then as far as my monsters goes, that that's kind kind of it. Okay. No Kaiku in the main deck for your deck. No and, Kaiku uh, in the main deck. No Kaiku in the side. Okay, so not a good card uh, in your opinion. Uh, honestly, it's a pretty good card. Uh, oh. but. I just didn't put it in. I, I mean, no I knew space. I was gonna go against like some Chaos Turbo, but like the meta, I feel like out in like Southern California is very warrior heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this deck is honestly against warriors really good. Okay, but not Turbo. Uh, it doesn't have the best Turbo matchup because Chaos yeah. just banishes your recruiters, and then it doesn't have the uh, the best Goat Control matchup because like you can't creature swap into the Goats. Like yeah. Thousand Eyes just sucks up the recruiters. Okay. Uh, but then we'll go into the staple spells. We got Heavy, MST, Snatch, Premature, Pot, Graceful, uh, Duo. Uh, and those are like my one-ofs that I play. Um, so those are self-explanatory. And I have the two creature swaps when you're playing recruiters. Uh, one of my favorite things is getting two recruiters right. You're going to go Tomato, let's go Angel. Uh, creature swap one of your recruiters away and then Crash and then get a whole <laughs> new light and darkness package going on. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
So we got two swaps, uh, Nobleman of Cross on No Explanation. Uh, three Book of Moon. Put it upside down. Yeah, yeah. Three, three Book of Moon. Uh, this is kind of the only defense that the deck really has. Uh, because you kind of want the monsters to attack into your recruiters, right? But for Thousand Eyes or Strig or uh, like DD Warrior Lady, uh, you can book a movement down. And then I only play one like real trap. We have uh, Ring of Destruction. It's just really great as like an offensive card and they kind of can close out games. And then I just still run in the Triple Decree. Okay, so you're playing a trap lo low deck. Yeah. Uh, you don't like Dutch Shoot in the main deck or? No, nah, uh, because yeah. I'm already playing like the Decrees and stuff like that. Uh -huh. The knowledge is great, don't get me wrong. I just, this, I feel like this deck just isn't geared to like knowing what, what's in your hand. I, I could care less really. Yeah. Uh, as long as I can get aggro with like my recruiters or prevent you from attacking me, then I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, and there's no extra deck, of course, because this is Go format, yes. so no extra deck needed. Uh, and he was able to do X1 in Swiss at the Cardboard Exchange. We're going to go on out to the next guy here. His name is, uh, what is his name? Primo. Primo. And he uh, took a pretty standard list. What was the list? Uh, just Pure Black Wings. Pure Black Wings. Uh, do you like Pure Black Wings better than Value Turbo? Yeah, and I was playing Value Turbo for a good minute, and then I just switched over to just playing the Black Wings. I see. What was your personal record in the uh, Swiss and Top? 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your losses was to what? Uh, I lost to the Light Swarms, and then I yeah. lost to... Was, uh, I forgot the, the second one. Okay, yeah. that's okay. Uh, so he was uh, his one of the last is to Light Swarms, and uh, here he is with the Black Wing. Let's, let's see what it is. It's pretty standard. It's just uh, three Sirocco, three Bora, uh, three Shura. Yep. Like three of the, each of the best Black Wings, and then three Kalu. And I don't know, I decided to play uh, two Blizzard. Okay, so that's a different change. Um, why only two Blizzards? I don't really like opening up with them, and then usually, like, uh, I feel like sometimes it's dead, so I'd rather just have uh, more uh, bigger black wings. Okay. And then just the one of black wings, one gale, and then one bayou. I don't like. Uh, I was trying out two, but one is. Uh, I feel like uh, I, it always shows up in my hands, so I'd rather just not. Yeah, mitigate two. That. Yeah. yeah. And then just one gores and one dark arm. Nice. And so that's eighteen arm. monsters. Yeah. And then for the spells, it's only five. Like, yeah, they don't need much. Yeah, so it's Heavy Storm, uh, Brain Control, Trunid, and this was oh, like the okay. MVP. <laughs> it uh, cleared up a lot of boards, especially against the Mirror Match. I had one Mirror Match uh, round one. And I just tune it and I went uh, double whirlwind and boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, and then that's pretty much all the spells. And then for the traps, I played uh, three Icarus, uh, three Jar. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on the draw traps in Black Wing? Do you uh, find that you rather have a real trap or? Not, sometimes uh, it just depends. Like, cause I, I would open up a lot with boards, so and then I would just set one one uh, draw trap yeah and usually let them attack me and then just activate the draw trap and oh, then I drop see. the gores so i have an extra body and then two legacy so you play five why not a three two split for uh, uh I, favor, forgot, but... I, I couldn't find the other uh, uh, super six. <laughs> so going forward you would uh, play three legacy yeah i would play six but six okay. yeah six draw traps i like them it's a uh, makes the deck go faster and then pretty much two d prison uh, two bottomless, a mirror force, uh, one oppression, okay. and then dust shoot. And then I decided to add a starlight road, a torrential, and a dust tornado. Okay. So trap line are pretty standardized. Yeah, pretty uh, standard. not much, uh, But you do have to draw traps in here, yeah, uh, which makes it a little different. Yeah, the draw traps makes it more fun. <laughs> have you thought about playing gold sarcophagus ever in Black Wings? Uh, no. No? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Don't need it? Okay. Uh, and if uh, you want the side deck? Whatever you want. Uh, for the side deck, I decided to get a Mind Crush. What is and, it for? Uh, just like the mirror match and then usually uh, uh, frogs. I, uh, I like saying it in for frogs. Heroes, probably. Yeah, heroes and all that. And then an extra Dust Tornado for the mirror match. I decided to decide the MST. And it was pretty good. I mean, usually bring it in in the mirror match. Try to be more... Uh, Try to take out the the back rows of other. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, you don't main deck. But, no, no, no. Yeah. and then I tried old wave. One of my friends at a uh, local was like, "Hey, it's pretty good." So I decided to try it out. I never uh, got to use it, but hopefully next time. What did you sign it in for? 
Uh, uh, Charlie Charcoal? <laughs> nah, there's no. If there was, yeah, but um, no, nah, there was mostly the mirror match and then, uh, yeah, pretty much the mirror match. <laughs> and then one nobleman of uh, Cross Out, one of Extermination. Proactive smells, huh? Yeah, and then one soul release for the frogs. Like, I, I really don't like frogs. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. And then. Uh, a skill drain usually for frogs and then light sworn because I don't want them using their effects uh, two DD crows uh, two cyber dragons but I didn't really see any machines yeah. so I mean that was that was a good good beast stick yeah. though yeah, yeah it is yeah. Hero beast. And, they yeah. that. and then for frogs I also cited a karma cut and then one deck belly and then solemn nice yeah because I don't know I, I feel like that's all I'm in the main. It's kind of like uh, it's really uh, situational. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, then, do you remember? Oh yeah. Let's go into your extra. Deck. And then the extra deck. They're pretty standard. Just yeah. Uh, two arm wing. One armor master. One ascendant. You don't want to play two armor master? No. I just one's fine. One's fine. One android. Tasser. Yeah. Nothing really special, just generics. And then a mist worm, thought ruler, Goyo, Black Rose, uh, a Brannick, Colossal, and then a Fortress. And then just a Stardust and a Dark Yeah. Nothing right. really. Well, that special. was a really cool list. I think uh, you had a lot of innovation going on with the uh, six straw traps, but yeah, I think yeah, yeah. HT119 as well has uh, yeah, that guy, man, that guy fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, know, yeah but you got like cold wave in the side deck and as well as the yeah, uh, moment of determination. Trying something new. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, congrats, uh, Primo, for your uh, victory you. in the uh, three v three. Let's go over to the last person here. Uh, he is a resident. Uh, what, what player? What did you play today? Uh, what is this called? Agents. Agents. <laughs> light, light fairies. So uh, what was your record throughout the, well, your personal record uh, throughout the tournament? Swiss, I believe I was, I only lost once. And then top cut, I didn't lose. So just once. Nice. So Agents, uh, per, the best deck you would say in Tengu? Uh, Tengu uh, it's pretty dang powerful. I haven't played enough Tengu, but I would say probably best deck. Okay, cool. I'm going to show you your profile. Yeah, so just three Earth, searches for Jupiter or Venus, the planets. So it's a tuner, level 2 tuner, helps you synchro stuff. Uh, the one of Jupiter gets big, can get over stuff. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, three Venus, obviously, with the shine balls. Got your combo. Three olive orange light, stops all the big effects, keep people from doing stuff. Get another hand trap. Yep. The one of Honest, because it's a one. The tour guides and Sangan, just pretty basic. Okay. Another rank threes. And then you got the Chaos Monsters, BLS, is BLS, the yeah. Sorcerer, blown up Broken. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can Synchro for an eight with that in the Earth. Uh, two Trag, keeps them in their place. You can take their monsters. Uh, exceed, Synchro, copy levels, pretty good. Gores is Gores. Uh, Card Trooper lets you draw. You can mill fairies to bring back with like Reborn, have stuff in the grave for Hyperion and stuff like that. And Crashing the Thunder King Rail? Uh, yeah, Crashing the Thunder King Rail was really good. Yeah. Uh, two maxi, one's in the side. Okay. Those are the monsters. Pretty good list uh, so far. Uh, so spells, two MST. Get rid of back row. Any storm, get rid of back row. Oh, I got these in there. I must have... And he plays the boss know. monsters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hyperion and Christia. I was like fiddling with it. So yeah, uh, two Hyperion, two Christia. You don't play three Hyperion? No. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So why? Uh, I don't why think you... so. Maybe it's in there, and I just. Should... Okay, I was like, why'd you cut a third Hyperion for? What? You... What was the reason for this? But it's just, probably in. Uh, there. Yeah, just... it's probably in your spells and traps. Is it? No, apparently not. Okay, so this game man does not play three Hyperion. <laughs> Would you uh, play th three probably, Hyperion going forward? Probably clunky. No. No. Okay. It's good how it is. Okay. Two up here, that's all you need. <laughs> you probably just couldn't find it. Apparently. Let's go into the spells. Yeah, so like I said, heavy MST, kill stuff. Yeah. Econ, take their monsters and synchro, tri tribute, overlay. Or overlay, yeah. Well, yep. Defense, one up pot, uh, side that out a lot. A mind yeah. control, take their set monsters, synchro with it. Yeah. Dark hole is dark hole. What is one, uh, the book for? Book of Moon is just good to keep prevent synchro plays, stuff like that. It's a spell, it's not a trap. Yeah. Uh, Reborn's Reborn, Dust Shoot. 
Well, if you're not running this car, what are you doing? Let's do <laughs> run just to the green stuff. Yeah, that's 40 cards. Uh, sideboard, one, uh, two crow. Uh, extra maxi, leeching the light for a mirror match. Third MST for back row stuff. Close forest for gravekeepers. Uh, another econ, uh, when you side in decrees, so you have stuff. One of to protect your stuff, also when you side in decrees, you have more spells. Three decrees for gravekeeper, stuff with a lot of traps. Uh, Transmigration Prophecy is good for graveyard. You can return your own stuff to manipulate. You return their stuff. Yeah, that's true. The mirror force and torrential. A lot of times I'll side these in because they're not expecting you to have back row. And they're yeah. just floodgates, they're really good. Yeah, yeah blow them up. And then right. extra deck. We got the uh, army arm. For the level four, two level fives, Catastor, and Oh, Android. you actually play Android in here. Um, did you, could it, uh, you didn't want to play the uh, Hyper Librarian in that place? I don't synchro a lot, so you don't really need it. This okay. is the same attack, Yeah. and you gain life with it. It's a light for um, Honest. You don't think that drawing cards uh, when your opponent synchro summons is good? Uh, honestly, that doesn't come up very often. I see. Because you're just beating them down, so usually you have like maxis or uh, DD Crows just prevent them from synchroing, so they're really not like going off. I see. Brio, obviously, is Brio is a one of. It's only set level six. Uh, Black Rose, sometimes they overextend, you can blow up their field. The Shine Balls. Uh, Wyvern, yeah. this is the OTK sometimes. Uh, one Thought Ruler, no Stardust. Um, Stardust, you're not synchroing a ton, and usually Thought Ruler comes up more often. Yeah. Uh, Scrap Dragon, just pop their stuff. Trish, sometimes Trish. Yeah, uh, two Gotsis for the uh, Shine Balls. You also run uh, the Earth Star level two. Sometimes you take their monsters. Yeah. Uh, two Leviathans. Oh, okay. You run a bunch of level threes as well. Sometimes you gotta get over stuff. Uh, Levier is Levier. Just take the, sometimes you can take their stuff. If you're playing Mirror Match, you can take their banished stuff. Yeah. And then one of Roach. Some decks if you just summon Roach, you just you can't get over it. Nice, nice. And that's it. All right. Thank you, Joseph, for the deck file. And congratulations to you guys for the, the win. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.